100 days to escape an apocalyptic world to the moon. This means I have to survive in a wasteland filled with zombies that don't burn in the daytime, which they can also mine blocks. Oh, and creepers? Yeah. They can run super fast and instantly explode, which can, uh, instantly kill you. And the rest of the mobs are also super overpowered. Oh, and one more thing. Every three nights, an invasion of a random mob can happen. Yeah, and I have to deal with all of this while building an entire rocket ship to leave this disastrous world to get to the moon. If I get the moon achievement, I win. If I don't within 100 days, then I lose. Will I escape or will I stay trapped within the apocalypse? Watch to the end to find out. Oh, and I don't want to say any names, but YouTube has been telling me that a large percentage of my viewers are actually not subscribed. Now, I know you are subscribed, but to the people who aren't, I mean, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. By the way, I stream this all on my Twitch, so you can come join me on my next 100 day video there. Oh, and I should probably let you know that this isn't in hardcore mode for uh, obvious reasons. But if you want to try to beat this in hardcore, feel free to download the mod pack on my Discord. But anyway, let's get right into it. Alright, so on day one, I spawned in an abandoned city. I tried to get some wood, but I soon realized you can't craft anything with this wood. It's dead, along with everything else in the city. I entered a building and I found a god chest, but trust me, my luck wouldn't last long. I'm- ah, Get away! What is that, bro? <laughs> what was that? And that's why I'm not in hardcore mode. After that, I witnessed a zombie break glass. And I knew it was all downhill from there after I saw that spider. Okay, seriously, can someone tell me what happened to the city? After searching the buildings and only finding death, I decided I was better off dead. Bruh, don't worry, I solved that problem fast. Oh, and uh, this exists. After raiding more buildings, I finally found a crafting table. I mean, it wouldn't be useful because I didn't have any wood. Oh, wait a minute. So I finally found some wood, and I could finally get some tools. The first night was already upon me, and I didn't have anything to protect me. Oh, hey there. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to camp out here for the night with my rotten flesh. Just kidding, I'm very brave and courageous, Dan. Uh oh. Never mind. I'm just gonna hide under this road for the night. Man, I really can't catch a break. And there comes a creeper. Let's be honest, I had no chance. Then I gotta show off my amazing PvP skills. Surprisingly, I actually destroyed them. Easy. After a full day in this world, I obtained 11 wood. I tried to ladder clutch, but I'm bad. Then I jumped into a possibly poisonous lake to grab some stone. I was low on health and food, and I really needed to find some resources. Luckily that wish came true fast. Yes, some food! What the heck? Yes, I pill it up, don't make fun of me, alright? They are very dangerous mobs. Oh, and so are you. I was going to break through this wall, but then I met my fate. Never mind. Oh, and I think the skeletons have aimbot. After that, I crafted an iron pickaxe and began mining. You don't already know, rockets require a lot of materials. And if I was going to make a rocket in this wasteland, I needed to start fast. I realized it was already nighttime, so I tried to go to sleep. Um, that's an issue. Then the official strip mining session began. I needed a lot of aluminum, copper, iron, and tin for the rocket. Then out of nowhere I caught on fire. Luckily I had the best defense in the game. This thing was so strong, I wasn't even sure how a wither skeleton got in this world. On day 3 I went to the surface to grab some water. There was a severe lack of clean water in this world. When I went back down my staircase I realized zombies broke in my base with some creepers, and the zombie decided to break my bed. I went back to the surface to get some wood, 
I seriously needed a better way to get more. On day four, I found some real alive trees. In the back of my base, I made a farm to make more food. I went back to the surface, and I found a lot of dogs waiting for me. And killing all of them proved to be a pretty tough task. My base was nothing to be proud of, but it didn't matter in that world. I was starving, so I used some bone meal to speed up the process. For some reason, I went back to the surface at night, and that would prove to be a terrible mistake. Yeah, there was nothing I could have done. I needed to get my stuff back fast, but I wasn't sure if I can kill all the mobs. Good thing there wasn't any. Well, uh, that was a lie. On day 5, a zombie almost believed me. Lost a lot of armor in the fire, so I had to craft new pieces. I'm very smart. I was extremely low on iron, so I went back to mining. Alright, time to make some new torches. What? What did I just do? While mining, I ran into a new ore. I'm not entirely sure what it does though. And I'm back to full iron. Okay, any second now. No? Alright then. Might as well do something while I wait. After that, I decided to make a ladder up straight to the surface. On day 6, I was alerted that the raiders have gotten harder. And an invasion begins tonight. I went up to the surface because I needed string and wood. I needed string for aluminum wires, and I needed wood because, come on, it's wood. I found a skeleton spawner, and I was pretty excited because I can kill skeletons for bone meal. Sadly, that didn't work out. When I went back to my base, I saw a creeper. What in the- WHAT?! Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure why I thought I can kill a creeper. Then the first invasion began. The zombie miners. I began to protect my base with cobblestone against zombie miners. Uh, again, I'm very smart. Obviously, that didn't work out, and they began to mine into my base. You know, my underground bunker wasn't doing that bad. On day 7, the invasion ended, and I did more fishing. Then I ran into someone with a gun. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, he has a gun. I gathered more string, then I found an enchanting table, and on my way home, I was ambushed by more pigs. It was already night and I wasn't home, so I had to be on the lookout for those! But luckily that night, they were pretty dumb. Now we're pogging. And I finally made the first item I needed to craft a rocket. But first I had to use them for a circuit fabricator. And there we go! What do you mean, no power? I also realized I needed to make the NASA workbench to craft a rocket, which, uh, required a diamond. I don't have any of those! Well, in the meantime, I guess I'll do some enchanting. On day 8, I made a coal generator for power. I made some adjustments to my base, then I figured out how to connect the two. All I needed now was a diamond, so I went back to mining. And we got some already! So now I was able to craft the piece I needed for the NASA workbench. Well, first I needed a compressor. Then I could get the materials I needed. And on day 9, we finally made it. Dang, look at this thing. Oh, so that's how you make a rocket. Ah, uh, that, that's a lot of stuff. So I began to compress away. Um, what, what are you doing, bro? While mining, I ran into a horde of zombie miners. While I was chilling at my base, an explosion happened. How do these keep happening? On day 9, I looked at the equipment I needed to survive on the moon. It made me realize how much work I had ahead of myself. And on day 11, I finally had enough materials to make a tier 1 rocket engine. I also had the materials to make a nose cone. And while I was compressing, a zombie rudely interrupted me, along with all of his friends. On day 12, a miner and an enderman invasion began. And when I was trying to find out where all the mobs were, they just mined right in, along with all of their friends. What the heck? On day 13, I made a diamond sword, along with a helmet. I also obtained all of the heavy duty plates I needed. All I needed now were those rocket fins, which would require a lot more heavy duty plates. Well, back to mining. Did you know you can actually use this coal stuff as fuel? It's actually pretty efficient. 
And finally, after days of mining and compressing, I finally crafted the rocket fins. Then, I finally crafted the tier 1 rocket. Look at this thing! To place the rocket, I needed rocket launch pads, which required a lot of iron. But I didn't really have any iron after making an entire rocket. And we're back to mining. I... Uh, what the f- Oh, well then. Ah, uh, there's like lava here though. Oof, it blew up a- uh, I don't know how much it blew up actually. <gasps> oh! We have the rocket on me! Oh, oh no! Yeah, I could have lost all of my progress just because the rocket would have burned. Yeah, I was pretty fast to put that thing away. Alright, time for a nice chill mining trip. Huh, <laughs> no. I put all of my stuff away because I was still traumatized. Alright, at least if I died, I wouldn't be too mad. Yeah, the worst thing that happened was I had to kill a zombie with a pickaxe. And I was out of food. On day 17, I finally made the rocket launch pad. Alright, let's set this rocket on top of the building. Nope. Alright, let's try this again. And then, I finally set up the rocket. Alright, here we go! And, uh... Um... We probably need some space equipment. First I made the oxygen thingy. But then I tried to make the oxygen mask, but it wasn't working with my half broken helmet. And uh, I kind of compressed all of my iron. But first I needed to grab more string for a parachute. Alright, well you'll, you'll die too I guess. <gasps> no! Oh, uh, we gotta go back up now. Yeah, I lost everything. On day 18 I grinded for more string. And I made the next piece I needed. I desperately needed iron, but I already mined all of the iron in the area, so I needed to go exploring. I also fell in quicksand. While crafting, another explosion went off. I really need a better defense. But soon enough, I finally made the oxygen mask. It was finally time for liftoff and... What do you mean, fuel? Oh, you actually thought it was going to be that easy? And welcome to a montage of me getting spawn killed. I hate these stuff away, bro. Bruh. Yeah, yeah, I'll look at. Um, yeah, I'll deal with these guys and go to the mood. So that's pretty nice. I think I'm just gonna end it here. Bro, I I'm sending it here. I don't know what. To Please tell me now. I I hope. Oh my god. Finally, on day 19, the invasion was over, and I was able to do some much-needed mining. By the way, I love how throughout these days my gear has gotten progressively worse each day. I would have probably already conquered this world if I wasn't putting all of my resources into this rocket, but it was worth it. That's right, I crafted the fuel loader, but now I needed the refinery so I can process oil into fuel. This mod was way too complicated. On day 20 I went back to my base, and I was met with a creeper. You gotta love it. I crafted the empty canister, then I made the refinery, it was time to set up the rocket. I tried to hook them all up with one wire, but I quickly realized I needed a wrench to do that. Then I was spleefed again. On day 21 I made the oxygen compressor. While looking at the wrench recipe, an invasion started. I jumped into my base and I was met with a giant zombie horde. And one of them had magic. Darn, it was actually not that bad. I even got cookies. While heading up to fuel the rocket, I saw death in its mob form. Luckily death was pretty stupid. Connect an oxygen pipe. Go power- OH WHAT?! WHAT IS THAT DUDE?! Well uh, never judge a book by its cover. On day 22, I was finally able to refine some oil. Okay, just, just watch this. Now do that again. Thank you very much. Oh god, there's an- WHAT?! Oh my god, bro, you gotta love this game! After this point, I considered it the downfall. I lost all of my gear, but I was so close to reaching the moon. And then, I found Chirp. Then it became my goal to craft a jukebox and play it on the moon. But it wasn't safe yet. Oh no, no, dude. <gasps> oh, dude! It's a, oh my god, you can't do anything! Thankfully, Chirp was safe, but every time I died, so much progress would be lost. Chirp was finally safe. Then on day 23, this happened. 
Okay, it's daytime. Uh, oh, that hurt. Let's get out. Oh my god. My base was in ruins. At this point, I was desperate to leave this world. After that, I finally crafted the parachute. At night, I was trying to fill up my oxygen tanks, but then I was attacked. Oh god. Yep, here they come. Here come the spider bro. There's gonna be ones with like spider creepers on top of them, so we gotta. Oh my god, there's some more. I'm gonna die. Wait, I'm gonna die. No! No, we need to run. Let's get out of here, dude! No! Hey, at least this time I didn't die to a creeper. Uh, no, dude! No! Dude! Oh my god! Guys! I'm back here! Poggers, I'm back at spawn! Hey, I wouldn't be too mad if I actually knew where my house was. But the entire time, I never thought to look at my coordinates. I was in pain. Well, we're about to die. Well, goodbye. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm in pain. Pain and misery. Look at all these guys. What's over? Nope, we're dead. Oh my god. One heart. Great! The invasion was over, and I had one heart left. Plus, I was homeless. No! But finally, on day 24, I found my house. Ah, home sweet home. And finally, I began to fill my oxygen tanks. Finally, after 24 days of pain, after so many deaths, I kept hope. And we finally made it. Let's finish this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Let's go! Look at those zombies trying to get to us. They're all coming out. We did it! We did it! Look at me! Oh my god! Oh my god! We did it! <laughs> we did it! Oh my god! We actually did it! Alright! So! Who's ready to go to the moon? Look at that! We can go to the moon! Let's go! We won. We got the achievement, but I might as well land on the moon. We are going down fast. Oh god. Alright, when it says... Alright, slow down. Down space. Oh! I slow down! Uh, uh oh. Wait, what? What just happened? Well, that's a very good question. If you didn't catch what happened, basically I didn't slow it down fast enough. If you didn't realize by now, I just lost all of my equipment. Which means I will die. I try to run back to get my stuff, but there is no use. Each time, I would die, and die, and die. But I looked around the village and I made a plan. We have about 100 blocks to go. Just gotta keep healing, alright? Gotta keep healing. Keep eating and keep healing. Now we just gotta straight go for the space to helmet. Oh, we made it! Come on. Space helmet? Oh my god, no. Everything's basically- Wait, space gear! Come on. No, we're dead. We lost our space thing. It's over, guys. No, our space container's over there! Come on! Yes! We did it! Oh, okay. Well, we have an issue. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. I lost everything, including the rocket. I was stuck here forever. All I had left was my gear and an oxygen tank with 20 minutes of air left. I tried to search for anything in the moon village, but there is nothing. Was this the end? Was all of that preparation for nothing? Well, you'll never know because that's all extended universe. See, I got the achievement. So anyways, video over. Goodbye.
I'm just kidding, but you probably want to see me survive the rest of the 100 days in this world. And there is so much more I can do in this mod pack. So in that case, you can watch the rest of the 100 days next Friday. Or you can watch it all on my Twitch this weekend. Remember, you can try out the mod pack yourself by downloading it from my Discord. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!